Hi there, Mindstormers. Welcome to the channel. We here at the Mindstorm channel love to experiment. And today, I've been experimenting with two super crazy tools. By using Zapier and the HeyGen integration to create personalized videos, I found out how to generate hundreds of personalized videos. You're probably wondering why I'm all AI avatar looking, because that's just the nature of my channel. I create characters and now I am a character. Plus, if I was real, I probably wouldn't be able to speak Spanish. Puedo hablar español con fluidez usando ya. Or in Japanese. Miru? Watashi wa nihongo wo kanari jōzu ni hanasemasu. Kore wa jisai ni omotte yori mo kantan desu. So first we're going to go into our Heijin account and come down here to personalized videos. And we can start a new project. Uh, you'll see that there are a few template choices you can use. You can use the full video or put the person's name into the clip. And there are a few more cool tricks. For example, you can put your potential customer's website into the clip showing that you've actually been to their site. And you'll see a few more templates you can use. Go explore these, they're all pretty cool. So for this demo, let's just click on the full video. Here's where you'll import your contact list. We'll be talking about Zapier shortly. For now, let's just see how this works and click on the sample contacts. So, hey Jen pulls in some fake names, Ryan, Justin, and Emma. Great. Click the next step and we can record a quick video or upload one. I've already recorded one, so I'm just gonna upload it. So let's preview it and make sure it sounds okay. Awesome, I hope that was informative. Hop over to the affiliate page and you'll see a link somewhere around this video. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss any future tutorials. Also, I'd love to hear what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching, see you next time. Okay, that sounds good. So we're going to head on to the next step. Now the video will upload into the system. Now you'll have to record a quick consent video. Basically recording your voice and your facial features for safety purposes. Hey Jen needs to verify that you are you. It'll take about three minutes to verify the consent video. And once you've got that taken care of, you're on to the next step. You'll notice that they've transcribed your video. Super cool. So now we get to edit our script and insert the customer's name and other variables we want into the text. To insert the person's name, you can click on the first name variable and then edit the text a bit more. You can add the variable into the text as many times as you want. When everything looks great, continue on. There are a few more steps you can play with to make your email and videos page look nice. You can add a logo and brand colors, that kind of thing. Again, here's the Zapier connection that we'll get to in just a second to automate this process. For this process, it's gonna take 0.2 credits. And since I'm testing this with three videos, it'll take just over a half credit. One full credit is basically one minute of video. Awesome, we've launched it. Let's view the details. The process takes anywhere from two to 10 minutes to create the videos. Awesome, looks like it's all done. Let's test these out. Awesome, Emma. Thanks so much for the purchase. Hop over to the affiliate page and you'll see a link somewhere around this video. And don't forget, Emma, to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss any future tutorials. Also, I'd love to hear what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Awesome, Ryan. Thanks so much for the purchase. Hop over to the affiliate page and you'll see a link somewhere around this video. Awesome, Justin. Thanks so much for the purchase. Hop over to the affiliate page and you'll see a link somewhere around this video. And don't forget, Justin, to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss any future tutorials. Also, that is very cool. So from this dashboard, you can send the email and watch who opens them. And checking our email, we can preview what the customer sees. And clicking on the link or the GIF, they'll be taken to the landing page with any information you wanna give them along with the personalized video. Awesome, Emma. Thanks so much for the purchase. Hop over to the affiliate page. Now all of that in itself is super cool. Imagine what your customers or clients will think with a personalized video like that. But this next part, using Zapier, we're going to automate the process. So all you have to do is set it all up. So what is Zapier? 
It's a great tool for connecting and automating different apps. Maybe you've spent way too much time handling repetitive tasks, but tasks that are important. No one wants to copy and paste data or upload CSVs or send the same email to leads every day, but those are the things that keep a business running. Zapier connects the apps you use every day and automatically moves information between them, doing that work in the background. That's just one way Zapier can do work for you. Check out their app directory. Any repetitive task you want off your plate, Zapier will handle. Whether it's those annoying CSVs, adding tasks to your to-do list, sending the same email, or adding form responses to a spreadsheet. Whatever your workflow, there's a good chance Zapier can do it for you automatically. Now this video isn't going to teach you how to use Zapier. That's just too much for my little AI brain to explain. But hop over to their YouTube channel and watch what they can do. So I'm gonna just log into my account to show you the gist of it. You'll notice I have a Zapier account and I use it daily. It's truly magic. So for now, let's create a new Zap. A Zap is basically an automation connecting multiple apps together that don't usually talk to each other. They consist of a trigger and an action. The trigger is something that starts the process, like say, a new order comes in from Shopify. So we'll try that. We'll set up our Shopify trigger. Now, if you know nothing about Zap here, this might be a tad confusing, but truly, it's not hard to get the hang of it. So our event, our trigger, is going to be when a new order is placed in my Shopify store. With every step of the process, Zapier has you test the connections. Okay, looks like everything is connecting just fine. It found a recent order and we can use this info to continue. Now for our action, we're going to find the HeyGen app. Now we have a lot of options for our event. We can add captions to HeyGen videos we've created and more. But for us, for today, we're going to add a new contact to our personalized video. In our case, we'll create a personalized video whenever we make a sale from our Shopify store. I've already connected my accounts to Zapier. So Zapier knows who I am. When everything is connected correctly, it's going to ask us for our project ID. And to get this, all we have to do is go back to our HeyGen page. And we'll come up here and choose Send to Zapier. All we have to do is copy this project ID and paste it into this field. Now, if you remember, we had a few variables in the video. We had the customer's email address and we had their first name. So we'll just set that up here. What's really cool about Zapier is that since our Shopify store has been connected, we can get the placeholder for every email that comes in with an order. Then we'll click this little plus icon to add the customer's first name. We'll also get the placeholder for the first name, which will change every time a new order comes in. And we'll continue. And of course, we'll need to test it. Awesome, looks like we got the green light and everything worked. And look, the test was successful because he was added to our video list, which means we can go live. Awesome, do four. Thanks so much for the purchase. Hop over with Zapier, you can set up any trigger. It doesn't have to be a Shopify store. It can be a Google Sheet or any one of their 6,000 connections. <laughs> I hope that was a huge eye-opener for you. I thought it was pretty nifty cool myself. Hey, if you liked this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. You won't regret it. So until next time, que tous tes rêves deviennent réalité et que tous vos fantasmes en matière d'IA vous rendent riche. Merci d'avoir regardé.